Okay, now this video is going to be rather short. Um, but I'm going to give an example of recycling. So, I got this little circuit board here out of, a, out of some old LED lights. Still have the lights. I pull them off here. And it's like, it provides power, but it also makes them flash. So, I took this and I soldered two little breadboard pins to it on each each connector and then I put power power pins on as well for each side and then I I have this battery pack which I also put power pins on so I connected the battery pack to this and I have this flashlight over here I found on the ground one day um, it wasn't very bright or useful it's like a dollar store flashlight so I took the back off, um, I ran some wires up here, if we'll focus, anyways I ran some wires up to the top of the positive and negative of this flashlight. So basically I can plug this flashlight into any power source I want to now, as long as it's like compatible. and then. It's plugged into this battery pack, the flashlight is, plus this little amplifier, or not amplifier, um, control board. So I'm going to turn it on, so it's on now, and then I'll press this button, let me get something for it to shine on, it can shine on this. Yeah, so, I can get this to stand up. Now, strobe warning here because it's going to flash, but when I press this button, it flashes. And normally, this flashlight is literally, it's literally just positive, negative, and an LED. Like, there's no, there was no flashing circuit, I added that. And if I really wanted to, I could probably put this up in here, and put like, put like a small battery in there, like a small lithium, but... It's just cooler like this. Yeah, so it's like... I can... It doesn't have to be this flashlight either. It can be something else if I want to. Literally anything. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, see, I unplugged the flashlight. Turn the power off. And then if I want... See here. I'm gonna grab... I'm trying to find an LED that's not all bent. See, I have this. And then over here. I swear I don't use these very much. Or the, this breadboard's really beaten up. I have better ones, I swear. These are just the only ones I have in hand. So I'll take that, take off this little adapter. I plug this into the corresponding socket with the LED. And then turn on the circuit. See? And I can even split it if I want. I'm not gonna show that. It's pretty easy to split circuits on a breadboard. So if you wanna learn that. Tell me in the comments if you wanna learn how to split a circuit on a breadboard and I'll make a video on that like make it so I can make two lights flash yeah so not really a lot to it but yeah I just thought I'd show it off oh yeah they're right here these two no right here they used to be a USB soldered that you'd plug into the wall I unsoldered it since it's only power so that's what these power pins used to be it used to be a USB uh, yeah I'm gonna end the video right there but yeah, that's my little DIY circuit. Um, oh yeah, it has different settings too. See, we have that mode, blinking, and then like wave, as I call it. No, flashing. Yeah, so it's pretty pretty easy to make if you want to make one but I I, I would 
recommend getting a soldering iron if you want to attempt stuff like this. You, you don't have to, but it would make it a lot easier than trying to hot glue wires to pins. So basically, you kind of do need a soldering iron. So uh, this video has been going on for too long, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.